What is wrong with this body temperature? Is it actually too hot? Holy shit, it's 55 degrees in there. Okay. Um, so I guess these guys have kind of outlived their usefulness. I don't think it's ever going to get cooler in there. Unless I finish making that, that aqua tuna thing that I was planning on doing. And I could use that to cool this down a little bit. That'd be nice. That would actually be really nice. But first things first, I have to actually build this area or dig it all out. And we need people with level two digging. Um, we have eight people that can do that and five people that can do that as well. Probably just get some more people Make sure everyone can at least dig, because that is pretty important. Most people can. I mean, look at the morale. It's insane. <laughs> uh, you got no points left. Turner's got points. Turner can't dig. What is this, Turner? Let's see. Is there anything that no one has? No, there's someone who's got every single skill that is really cool all right so hopefully that speeds this up a little bit and i was also thinking it would probably be a good idea to build a second rocket um i could just extend it out this way i guess mm, i don't know be oh wait did i destroy that R i didn't rebuild it yet okay Because it would be really good to get some more research done. We're going to get three from this, but we just need so much. Like, if we keep getting three each time, it's going to take us like four trips at least to get this. That's a lot. That's a lot of trips. So it'd be good to make a rocket, maybe with just a steam engine even. Oh my God. Why did it make that noise twice? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get some eggs. So we're making lots of food here. 20,000 kilocals of frost burgers. Lovely. We still have nutrient bars. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the nutrient bars. And these are full? What are they full of? Sleet wheat grain, I guess. Ugh. <sighs> I need to have more storage. It's not enough. It's not enough storage. Are they almost ready to be eaten? Oh, this guy. I want to see what actually happens. Incubation is 100. So it should hatch any second. There you go. Okay, they do. They do drown. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> We're just witnessing a murder like it's nothing. So we have 17,000 kilocals of meat, and when he dies, we should have 33, I think. Yes, 33. Fantastic. But the problem is, because there's no room in the fridge, they're not going to store it in there. What I could, I could go like that and then get rid of this. And build another fridge in there, I guess. <laughs> Doesn't really give me that much more, though. Alternatively, I could just build them anywhere and connect them with power. But, I mean, they use 120 each, I'm pretty sure. So that would be immediately, like, 700 power gone. For something that I don't really need power. There you go, they put the meat away. Okay. Well, that's good then. And they're slowly coming to do this. Um, I guess we're going to have to build it one higher. So we'll go up to here. That will be the top. And yeah. So that's connected with power. It's connected with the insulated pump as well. Good. I'm happy. I don't really want to give them more to do until they're ready to do it. 
Um, someone mentioned to me that if I make this out of granite, which it is now, it'll probably melt. <laughs> which is not something that you want from our cargo bay. So, no conveyor receptacle. What does that mean? Material cannot be offloaded from this conveyor system. And we'll back up the rails. Does it need a conveyor to take the stuff off there? That's interesting. Uh, where is the conveyor? This one. Ah, oh, okay. I had no idea it needed that. So I just need to put like a chute somewhere, I guess. Ah, uh, we're getting so much sleet wheat that it's actually rotting. And none of these are even working anymore. We're out of dirt. Okay, I think it's about time that we just call it on this. I mean, the dirt itself is gone. So, oh, that's such a shame. Should I just tear it out? This is kind of full, so I can turn that off. Um, I'll just break one of these pipes here. That really sucks. I, I like the sleet wheat. I guess I can still plant some. There's like little bits of ice here, but they're going to melt. It's just a matter of time. I guess for this, I'm probably just going to chuck it out here. And what should I make it out of? Uh, maybe, probably just iron ore should be fine. It doesn't really matter if it melts, I guess. We'll just build it back. And I'll just put it there. That's interesting. I don't know why it can't just plop out like all the artifacts do. Uh, oh shit, this is full. <laughs> Whoopsie. Uh, forgot to turn that off. I should have... Did I limit this? I limited that to 900. But we don't actually have any oxalite. We're down to 3.6 kilograms of natural gas. 3.6. That's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. Uh, here is a little pocket that I could get into. But again, if I break through there, it's just going to all get overrun with natural gas. So I might have to go all the way down that way, which would, quite, which would be quite <laughs> annoying. And finally decided to repair these things. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I I just don't like seeing all this this nonsense around here. Just fix it and that's it. Uh, what's wrong with this? Oh, this needs repairs too. It's um, it's a good temperature, I think. Yeah, it's 46, so it's fine. Once they repair it, it should be good. So if I'm gonna make another bay for a second rocket, uh, I'm gonna need to find some space. And I've kind of got things occupying this whole area here, which makes it a bit annoying. I can't put it here either because I have water there and then the end of the map. So, I do have a fair amount of room. I can go up, I guess. But that would be really annoying. And I could go, I mean, the further out here I go, there's all stuff. The water, I need to somehow drain it. If I put one here, which is where I would have liked to, I don't know if it'll break this pipe. I don't think it, it didn't break it last time. I don't know. And can dig that out now. So that'll just fall down here and be collected by this guy. Although, when they go in here, they're not wearing exosuits, so they're going to burn, I think, <laughs> which is not good. Oof, dude, it's hot. I mean, it might give me a chance to use my hospital. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. They don't like the soggy feet. It doesn't matter that it's like 90 degree water, but soggy feet? Oh no. <laughs> oh no, no, no. Yeah, now I need to use this water to go into some turb. I guess, is there even any point to doing it now? Uh, my whole point was to, to cool the sleet wheat, but now I don't need to because it's just, they're not going to grow regardless. I don't have dirt unless I decide to go to a planet that has dirt. This place has dirt. There we go. 24%. But this is over 80,000 80, kilometers away. Oh man. Terrestrial planet. We only have one, two, two of them. That's it. All right, we're going to build a new hangar. I'm just going to put it here. I mean, what's the worst that could happen, right? <laughs> uh, absolute worst is that we have to drag this pipe underneath or something to fuel the rockets. So it can't be that bad, surely. Uh, that's there. What I could even do, I could get rid of this and put a some bunker tile in there. And then I could get rid of this and put these in there. Wait, why are they opening? Excuse me? Is this, this is detecting, oh, okay, meteor showers. Why is this one not opening? Close. Oh, for, of course they had to do it. <laughs> ah. Of course. Close, please. Thank you. Please, before we get meteors. Please. Please. Okay, we just made it in time. It's pretty... Oh, boy. <laughs> Max nearly got one in the face. Okay. Um, so we have three here, so I probably only need to build another two across here. And that should be good. And then I need to dig out all of this area here. So that will take a fair bit of effort. Alright. Uh, they, they got a little bit of work to do. <laughs> they got a little bit of work to do. Uh, that probably means that I should take this and put it here because it makes more sense to have it there now and is there power yeah we can just drag the power from there straight into there that makes a lot more sense and they can get rid of that look at our food holy crap frost burgers i mean we still have so many sleet wheat grains 600 kilos of sleet wheat grains so that's going to last us a long time anyway even if they're not growing. And as for the meat, 13,000. We have... Oh, okay. They've eaten all the barbecues. I don't know why they don't eat the frost burgers, but it's okay. In a nice way, we're almost making our way all the way back out to the Gravitas facility, which we should probably deconstruct because we get a bunch of resources. Look at that steel. What is this made out of? Granite, nah. I mean, all of these things are made out of like steel and glass. So we should deconstruct those. Even this door, I think, is 200 kilos of steel. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Now it's called Brave Saturn. <laughs> what makes it brave? I don't know. But it's brave. So we should be getting more steel, uh, more steam. And this is half full. So can we, we can go out to here, but we want to head somewhere a bit further out. We want to go to the satellites. So I think for this one, we'll try use a steam turbine, uh, not steam turbine. Yeah, we'll try use. So I think for this one, we'll try use a steam engine. I don't think we need, ah, uh, I don't know. It just, it limits the amount of things that I can put on here. I think I will just go steam. Yeah. 
So we're going to build a steam engine in here. And on top of that, I'm just going to chuck a lot of research modules. And we're just going to go. Um, so this, I think I'm going to choose a different route for that. We'll take it out this way underneath the rockets. And then I can start releasing more because we actually got quite a bit that's probably built up in here. 200 kilos. It's yeah, th that's per tile though. So we have, uh, you know, about 20 or something tiles. So it should be enough for this. Oh, actually, no, we'll need a we'll need a thruster, won't we? Burns refined iron and oxalite to increase. Actually, I should work this out. So apparently if I put five of these research modules, I can still make it out to the first row of asteroids. So that's probably what I'm going to do. I don't need a booster for that. Um, the booster will take me to the second row, but there's actually less research to do there. So I'm just going to go out to the first few planets and yeah, it should be good. I think eventually I will probably need to turn this into the research ship. And then this can be the cargo, I don't know, but... It'll be really useful having more than one rocket anyway. This one's basically full, so I'll send it off when it's done. Uh, just about 140 more kilos of oxalite, and then it should be ready to go. I think I will consolidate these power sources. I'll run like a heavy watt wire underneath here. Eventually, I'll have to deal with this water probably. But that would be worth doing. Because this is basically just on standby. Nothing's happening here. <laughs> it's not doing anything. Um, they're all full. Uh, we're even gathering a little bit. I mean, well, we can't really gather it unless it starts running. So it's just kind of sitting there. That's fine. I think we have too much fuel. <laughs> it's not letting us go far enough. So now we're kind of wasting it, I guess. More printables. Okay. Wow, three lime in a row. What are the chances? It knows what we need. Um, okay, well, I think we only needed to put 348 petroleum and oxalite. So we've kind of doubled that and a bit more. Maybe we'll go to a thousand. Oh, this can't go to a thousand. Ah, shit. I might have stuffed myself up here. What is going on here? Oh, we need salt. Are we out of salt? Oh, no. No, we have 23 tons of salt. What? Come on. Deliver the salt. Uh oh, what happened here? <laughs> oh man, did it heat up? What is the temperature? It's 23 degrees in the frozen core. Well, well, well. Oh my god, it is boiling over here. <laughs> Damn. We're actually getting steam. It's so hot, we're getting steam. And what? All the natural gas is... Oh, it's got compressed into this area. So now we have nine kilos in there. Wow, what was causing that? We don't even have this turned on. Maybe it was the metal refinery just after all of these years. Oh, this is, oh, it's the steam that's melting now. What made it so hot though, I wonder? Hmm. <laughs> that's amazing. I don't know what happened here to make it so hot. Because the only thing we have in here is this, and it's not even on. It hasn't been on for a long time, actually. Very strange. Not a fan. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that. Whatever, whatever's happening here, I don't like it. It seems like we just had some kind of explosion, because like it's all melting now. This is slowly coming back down. 
very, very weird. And there's actually carbon dioxide in here. So if we had sleet wheat here, they might grow. Might. Still probably not, not quite yet. And how is this going? Uh, this is off for the time being now. That's fine. We still have plenty that we can grab around here. Ah, uh, this really sucks. Now, everything that we're putting into there, it's actually reducing the distance that it can travel because it's making it heavier. So, I wonder, I probably am going to have to destroy these and then refill them with the correct amounts. That really sucks. I should have worked it out before I did it. That's my bad. Hopefully, it doesn't just all melt away into the air. We'll probably lose some of it. No. Okay. Um, quick, let's rebuild it. So that's going to fill up really damn quickly. In fact, I should... Did I turn this off? I did turn it off. Okay. Yeah, look at that. It's already basically full. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. And then I need a solid oxidizer tank going there. Someone will come do that. How much did we lose? We still have... Shit, it goes down very quickly. We had a thousand. Now we only have 800. Alright, after crunching some more numbers... It seems as though this cargo bay is weighing me down so much that I'm not going to be able to get to 30,000 out unless I have an extra fuel tank, which is obviously something that I don't really want to do. So I might just end up ditching this and replacing it with another research module, which kind of sucks, but... It's better to get the research than anything else, really. So I need 827 kilograms of each fuel source to be able to go at three, uh, 30,000 kilometers out and with four research things. So let's just let it flow back in. We're almost there. I didn't realize it was so heavy, that thing. Plastic. Cool. Alright, so we're starting to get some steam going to this. We only need 695 for that to work. Uh, how are we going with the oxygen here? It's still backing up a lot. We're not even getting that much oxygen. Wait, what power? Ah, oh, these have run out of rust? <laughs> oh, come on. You're joking. Alright, well, we got plenty of rust here. Eventually, we will probably run out of rust for good, but... I mean, we have all of this area to go. All of this. Okay, it's not going to be for a very long time that we run out of rust. All of this, too. Still some there. Some here. How are we going here? It's all carbon dioxide. I don't know how we got so much carbon dioxide there. So much so that it pushed out everything else. Unbelievable. Where did it come from? All of that carbon dioxide. What the fuck? I wish I could have seen where it came. We just had an explosion. Maybe something... All the gas vaporized and condensed and re-vaporized and turned into carbon dioxide? I have no idea, but it's quite impressive. So now I'm probably going to need a place to store that because otherwise we don't have access to the natural gas. <laughs> Ugh. Alrighty guys, I'm going to have to leave it there for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and I will see you next time. Take care.